Vincent Silgrave, you have failed this city. Hey, what's going on YouTube, Marvel DC Bros, and we're coming at you today with our DC Collectibles, Arrow, and his suit review. So let's take a closer look at his accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at Arrow himself. So, much like the shirtless Oliver, if you guys have him, he comes with this uh, bundle of his bows, which are pretty cool. We just try to leave him in his quiver the whole time, because it looks cooler that way. And then he also comes with two single bows, and they are the exact same as if you have the shirtless Oliver, so not anything new there. But what is new to him is this bow. It is just like the one that he gets in Season 2, and it is awesome. It looks so cool, and it actually really captures the likeness of the one from Season 2. And so, now on to Oliver. He looks awesome. The head sculpt doesn't really capture Stephen Amell very much, but you can kind of see him in there. And uh, he's got his wrist bows just like he does in the show, and he's got his side quiver, but they sadly don't come out. And overall, the sculpt of the figure is really nice. I really like his mask. It's sculpted on there very nice, as you guys can see. And his hood does come off, which is pretty cool. And I've heard that on the other one, it does the... Two pack with Deathstroke, it doesn't really stay off, but this one stays off pretty well. It's really nice. And overall, his suit looks pretty almost dead on to what it does on the show. And so now, his articulation, his head does move side to side fairly well, but you know, the hood kind of doesn't move with it, so there's not really any need to move his head. His arms move out that much. They move forward. They move backwards. Uh, he hinges right here. He can actually come apart in this ab crunch area, but I'm not going to take it apart because I don't want to risk breaking it. He has the DCUC crotch, and his legs do not move up at all. They don't move back very well. He bends at the knees that much he his foot moves down up and a beautiful ankle pivot as you can't really see it but he does have ankle pivot so just trust me on that so overall he stands pretty tall up to the top of his hood he is almost at exactly seven inches it's like 6.9 and <clears throat> here he is standing next to the canary from the uh wave here he is next to Deadshot and Malcolm Merlin, the same figures from the wave. I highly recommend this Malcolm Merlin figure. He's pretty awesome. Here he is next to him, his shirtless self, and this figure is pretty awesome too, so if you don't have it, I recommend that you do get it. Here he is next to Ra's al Ghul from the Batman Arkham uh, series games, and here he is next to Deathstroke. You guys, uh, tell us, comment down below if you want to see a Deathstroke of you. We're thinking about doing that, so just comment. And here he is next to Flash, and... He's going to be our next review, so stay tuned for that. And here he is next to the Big Time Light Down Aquaman. So overall, I highly recommend this figure. He is awesome, and if you do not have it, I recommend pre-ordering it on any site that doesn't have it or going to your local comic book shop and picking it up. This is one of my favorite figures, and we just got him today, and I'm so excited for this figure. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and this is Marvel DC Bros. signing out.